price. I think I missed that if I mentioned. The price is 6,999 euros for the low, the basic uh, Twizy, plus uh, 45 euros, I think, in Italy for the battery uh, location, which means that you have a weak. What is the other success? Another story very important for a Twizy success is that uh, we apply the business model, which is a new, in the, it's new in the, in the panorama of car design, automobile uh, production, which means that uh, we will ask you to buy the car but not the battery. Unless this would have cost 14,000 euros. Because it's the normal price. This is the reason why some of our competitors have small cars that cost 24 or 30,000 euros to buy electric. We, you pay the low, the normal cost, but you pay a small rent per year for 36 months after you have a contract to renew if you want to, in which you have you are uh, thought free for the battery. Anything happens to your battery, you don't have to pay. You go to Renault, you ask the assistance, and then we take care of, of it without uh, spending money. But this is very important because batteries are very expensive. So, so it's a good business model. Yeah. Basically, a new way of, uh, of, uh, of having money. That's the aim of the performance. Yes. Yes. Uh, do you think that there is a particular reason why all this kind of project about uh, small electric cars are uh, very big in the city are so close to a look at the vision of the, of the vehicle? It looks like uh, quite often a new teacher schools, so I see projects of students, and they are all uh, related to something funny and game, and I think that's part it's related to the target of what you get, I can understand that, but there is always this kind of perception of the small car. I don't know why or... In, in fact, when, you're, when you ask uh, customers today about, yesterday about electric vehicles, what did you get for uh, information? You get for information that they are they had two concerns. One was, was about uh, safety, okay? and uh, the other one was about the, the trust for uh, electric powering as a, as a way of moving cars. Clearly, that was the, the answers we got. Uh, we choose, in fact, to, in, in our lineup, we choose for the safety for Twizy and uh, because of the speed of the vehicle uh, we decided to not try to reach the automotive, I would say, uh, speed uh, imaginary okay? just because the vehicle is not speed yeah. it's, it's, it runs around uh, the basic version 45 the upper version more than 80 Okay, it's quite quick, okay? but it's not uh, it's not a kit. Okay, no. so uh, don't project uh, a design, don't sell a design which says okay it's speed and fast, which is which was not the aim. The aim was reassuring the customer about safety. That's what we have done, yeah. and we choose for uh, the four seater vehicle which is the way to reassure people with a car design which is expressive okay which is not smiley it's a dynamic vehicle it doesn't express speed it express dynamism okay that's what we did basically to be in fact consistent with what the vehicle is is uh, providing as a as a, as a service, okay, don't over promise by design. Be honest with your customer. Yes, I would like also to add that uh, uh, we analyze the market niche, as Patrick said. 
And generally, this is not only us because the smart yeah, is the same thing. Yeah. This is an attitude, it's almost uh, uh, a. And you see it running, you say it's still running. It's yeah, it, yeah, because uh, it, it, you are creating a trend. Yeah. And if you like enough, and we hope to be, then if we really work well, this trend will become a, a real one, which means it will be trendy to have. Now, if you we make a twist that is actor with a, that has an excess of uh, sportivity, people might might think, ah, oh, this is a second second car who has a Porsche or a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. But what everybody has. That's what usually happens in the smart. <laughs> you have to understand that the, when we do our studies, and I think for myself it's the same thing, yeah. we have a female market of certain type of age, and they all ask us something fun. Then we have guys that are serious, maybe uh, very classic like me, or a little bit uh, less classic like me, that also want to be in a context in which they are feeling to have a, to have a very nice experience, joyful experience. And at the same time, same time to transfer this uh, feeling thanks to the candidates which has that face. And this is the reason why we cannot uh, uh, we have to be very neutral when we put the cursor of uh, sportiveness against uh, joyful, fun against the trendy, light, uh, uh, because you are. <laughs> so this, this is basically also a consequence of our design choice. There were, during this complicated process, there were any critical moments in which uh, some member of the technical platform said, No, because I had my gun ready. So this <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, not really. I don't know if I think as a souvenir this, but not, not free. There was a real good to go. No, in fact, uh, uh, we just face uh, uh, the situation at the moment, you know. We, uh, all this electric uh, project was linked to battery capacity. And in fact, the treaty discussions we had during the projects were linked to uh, autonomy and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and battery uh, uh, availability as a launch of the vehicle. Basically, that the, the, was the main risk regarding this project. But it's true, we didn't face a treaty situation in fact. Because of the organization you have seen at the beginning, link, link to the organization. If you, if you are able in the process to work all together closely, engineering, first people, designers, from the beginning, together to open all questions, to discuss all questions in a dynamic process, you are able to feel the risks before they appear. You know, if you have a conceptual and, uh, and, uh, and more sequential process, okay, you can imagine that the product planning will ask you, for, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, an autonomy you are not able to reach. Okay? When you discover the process, okay, the sequence process, the, the fact. Later, compared to such a process. Such a process is an open process. All question, questions are, uh, are going up quickly. People are fighting. It's much easier to be in a sequential process, you know, with a question, an answer, comments, an answer, comments, an answer. Okay, when you are all to. Okay. This is, I can, I ask you, sorry I cannot, maybe I can, I have to modify, I don't want to, this is how basically we work. Here, we can, that's it. Because no one here going to be the one that killed something in the, the group. No one wants to do that. For this, it's very negative. So, it's a lot easier here to say, we're going to challenge this. And here everyone is, tries to wash hands if there is a big problem coming. Because you asking me, 
I ask him, he has to be alone. I ask him to change. There, okay, you are three that assume the responsibility. Then you're responsible for the question you ask, for the answer you give, okay, for the technical solution you propose. Okay, it's much easier to support the problem when you are three and instead of one each time. It's but I, I don't know if that's if it's so clear for uh, in the explanation, but somewhere the teamwork, okay, okay. The, uh, the capacity of the team to support the project is a way to avoid uh, or to identify and solve problems before they appear. And this, uh, this process has been put together because uh, our president asked to try to do something towards the Russian side, etc. Also because the idea for a moment was to try a new way to bring some real innovation into the production. So when we develop a project here, like it has been for Twizy, but also for two more projects, which we cannot talk today, they are recent. Uh, basically, here they cannot say we don't want to do the project. They're stuck. They have to do it. And they cannot say, ah, it's too, it's too expensive, because we want this already. And they cannot say, ah, technically it's too expensive, or you don't have the technology. No, because we already want that. And they cannot say the design, for example, product plan, they cannot say, ah, but the car does look good, we're not going to sell it. Because we tested this already, and we already have a big, the top management that, that agrees with us. So basically, this is a way of some strategic project to make a big uh, jump and say, just do it. More than the real organization against the uh, uh, R&D, the future of design is not there. The future of design is there. Or 